Tesla just confirmed something the industry hoped you'd never notice. The 2026 Model 2 will run on aluminum ion batteries rated for 30 years, six times longer than today's lithium packs. While Elon focused his keynotes on affordability and range, he barely touched the real breakthrough. Over 10,000 charge cycles with less than 10% degradation, zero thermal runaway risk, and production costs 42% lower than lithium ion. This isn't vaporware. Tesla's already building a 3 gigawatt hour pilot line in Giga Texas using aluminum sourced from North America, bypassing the lithium supply chain entirely. The data suggests this could end the $20,000 battery replacement nightmare forever. But here's the question no one's answering. If aluminum ion delivers on these numbers, what happens to every lithium EV rolling off the line today? Let's dive right in. To understand why Tesla made this move, we need to look at what's actually happening with lithium batteries right now. The International Energy Agency project's lithium demand will increase 40 times by 2040. That's not gradual growth. That's an explosion the supply chain can't handle. We saw a preview between 2020 and 2022, when lithium carbonate prices jumped from $6,000 per ton to over $70,000 before crashing back down. That kind of price volatility makes it impossible to plan production costs and impossible for automakers to offer stable pricing to customers. The technical limitations are just as serious. Current lithium-ion batteries degrade after 1,000 to 1,500 complete charge cycles. For most EV drivers, that means noticeable capacity loss within three to five years. When that happens, you face a $15,000 to $20,000 replacement bill, or you sell the car at a significant loss. Either way, the math doesn't work for mainstream buyers. Then there's the safety issue. Lithium-ion batteries can experience thermal runaway, which occurs when the liquid electrolyte system overheats due to internal failures. This has caused multiple EV recalls and, in some high-profile cases, vehicle fires. The root cause is dendrites, microscopic needle-like lithium deposits that grow inside the cell over time, eventually puncturing the separator and creating short circuits. This is why Tesla shifted to aluminum. According to the U.S. Geological Survey, aluminum is over 1,000 times more abundant in Earth's crust than lithium. It's already mined domestically in Quebec and Kentucky, where Tesla has secured long-term supply agreements. No dependence on geopolitically unstable regions. No ethical concerns about cobalt mining in the Congo the supply chain risk drops to nearly zero. But abundance alone isn't enough. The real advantage is in the chemistry. Aluminum ions carry three positive charges compared to lithium's single charge. This fundamental difference prevents dendrite formation entirely. The sharp deposits that cause lithium batteries to fail simply can't form in aluminum ion cells. Without dendrites, there's no pathway to short circuits or thermal runaway. The battery remains stable even under physical damage or extreme heat. Laboratory testing backs this up. Aluminum ion cells have completed over 10,000 full charge cycles with less than 10% capacity degradation. In real world terms, that's 30 years of daily use. Your car will likely need a new engine, transmission, or bodywork long before the battery fails. The usual anxiety about battery replacement becomes irrelevant. This extended lifespan is impressive, but Tesla designed the Model 2's aluminum ion battery to do something most EVs can't. Generate revenue for the owner. The first feature is peer-to-peer -peer charging. The Model 2's battery can output 3,000 watts continuously with short bursts up to 7.5 kilowatts. That's sufficient power to charge another EV on the roadside at speeds comparable to commercial level two chargers. 
Tesla is integrating a blockchain-based payment system directly into the vehicle software, allowing Model 2 owners to detect nearby vehicles that need charging, negotiate pricing automatically, and transfer power securely. The business case is straightforward. Current Level 2 public charging rates in the U.S. range from $0.20 cents to $0.35 cents per kilowatt-hour. If you provide a 10-kilowatt-hour roadside charge, you earn between $5 and $7. Doing this just three times per day generates $450 to $900 monthly, or $5,400 to $10,800 annually. For context, that's enough to cover most car payments entirely. What makes this practical is the safety profile of aluminum ion chemistry. Because these batteries don't experience thermal runaway, they can handle the stress of frequent discharge and recharge cycles without risk. This opens up peer-to-peer -peer energy sharing in ways that would be too dangerous with conventional lithium-ion technology. The second feature leverages the Model 2's 90 kilowatt hour capacity for home backup power. During a grid outage, the car can supply electricity to your home for three to four days without any generator, fuel costs, or special installation. You simply connect it to your home panel through a standard interface. The economics matter even when the grid is working. U.S. electricity costs average 17 cents per kilowatt hour, but peak rates often reach 25 cents or higher during high demand periods. Using your Model 2 to power your home during peak hours just twice per month saves $50 to $100, adding up to $600 to $1,200 annually in avoided utility costs. Compare this to installing a Tesla Powerwall, which costs up to $14,000 including installation. The Model 2 provides identical functionality without any additional hardware purchase. With the battery's 10,000-plus cycle lifespan, you can offset approximately $6,000 in electricity expenses over five years, and that's without adding solar panels to the equation. The third hidden feature affects your insurance premiums. Because aluminum-ion batteries eliminate the fire risk that makes EVS expensive to insure, insurance companies are recalculating their risk models. Tesla is reportedly developing its own usage-based insurance program specifically for Model 2 owners, with projected annual premiums below $500. The current U.S. average for EV insurance is around $1,600 per year, meaning potential savings of $1,100 annually or $11,000 over a decade. Drop a comment with Model 2 if you'd actually use these features. Which one interests you most? The roadside charging income, home backup power, or lower insurance costs? Tesla's not waiting on suppliers or announcing future plans. They're building the entire aluminum ion production infrastructure in-house, starting with a 3 gigawatt hour pilot facility already under construction at Giga Texas. This approach is fundamentally different from how the rest of the industry operates. The process starts with raw aluminum sourced from mines in Quebec, Canada, and Kentucky, USA, both regions where Tesla has locked in long-term procurement contracts. This aluminum undergoes refining using an updated hall Erul smelting process, powered partially by hydroelectric energy. This reduces upstream carbon emissions by approximately 58% compared to conventional lithium-ion supply chains that rely heavily on coal-powered processing in Asia. Once refined, the aluminum is converted into high-grade foil and fed into Tesla's proprietary roll-to-stack press lines. This is where the efficiency gains become dramatic. Traditional lithium-ion battery production requires over 180 individual steps and takes more than 24 hours to complete a single cell. Tesla's integrated process consolidates this into fewer than 25 steps and produces a finished cell in just 88 seconds. 
that's more than a tenfold improvement in manufacturing speed, translating directly to a 42% reduction in per cell production costs. By 2028, Tesla plans to scale this operation to 40 gigawatt hours of annual output, which would make them the world's largest aluminum ion battery producer practically overnight. This vertical integration eliminates more than 6,000 miles of overseas shipping per battery cell. There's no reliance on Asian suppliers, no exposure to international tariffs, and no vulnerability to commodity price fluctuations or geopolitical tensions. Tesla is constructing a completely North American battery supply chain from raw material extraction through final assembly. During their most recent earnings call, Tesla stated that energy is growing really well, despite headwinds from tariffs and supply chain challenges. That's not marketing language. It reflects genuine execution. While traditional automakers are still negotiating lithium supply contracts and dealing with price volatility, Tesla has already moved to an entirely different chemistry with a stable domestic supply base. The implications extend beyond electric vehicles. Tesla is preparing modular aluminum ion battery packs for integration into Powerwall and Megapack energy storage systems as early as 2027. These next generation packs offer higher thermal stability and eliminate the need for complex liquid cooling loops, making them particularly suitable for remote installations or regions with extreme temperatures where maintenance access is limited. If aluminum ion technology performs as projected, the effect on the broader EV market will be severe. Every existing lithium ion vehicle becomes a depreciating asset with a known expiration date. Potential used car buyers will calculate remaining charge cycles before making offers. Resale values will decline as the battery approaches end of life. Trade-in values at dealerships will drop correspondingly. Meanwhile, Model 2 owners operate vehicles that function as appreciating energy assets. They generate income through peer-to-peer -peer charging. They reduce monthly utility bills through home backup power. They pay significantly less for insurance. The vehicle shifts from pure transportation expense to a financial tool that pays returns. Legacy automakers face a difficult position. General Motors, Ford, Volkswagen, and others have invested billions into lithium-ion gigafactories. Those facilities represent sunk costs that can't easily be repurposed. Retooling for aluminum-ion production would require years of engineering development and billions more in capital expenditure. Most manufacturers won't be able to pivot quickly enough to remain competitive. The geopolitical implications are equally significant. China currently controls approximately 80% of global lithium refining capacity, giving them substantial leverage over the EV supply chain. Aluminum ion technology breaks this dependency entirely. Aluminum production is distributed globally, with major operations in North America, Europe, and Australia. Tesla's North American supply chain removes Chinese control points from the equation. The transition won't happen overnight, but the direction is clear. Aluminum ion batteries offer superior longevity, lower costs, enhanced safety, and supply chain independence. The technology is already in production, not stuck in research labs. The Model 2 launches in 2026 less than two years away. The real question facing consumers is timing. Do you purchase a lithium-ion EV now, knowing the technology is being superseded? Or do you wait for aluminum-ion options to become available, accepting that you'll be driving an outdated vehicle within the purchase cycle? Comment aluminum-ion if you think this technology shift is inevitable, or explain why you disagree. The data is available. Now it's about interpretation and decision-making. This is exactly why Tesla stayed quiet about aluminum ion for so long. While competitors fought over lithium supply contracts, Tesla was building an entirely new foundation. What this means is simple. 
The battery isn't the product anymore. It's the platform. A 30-year lifespan transforms EVs from depreciating vehicles into appreciating energy infrastructure. You're not buying transportation. You're buying a power station that happens to drive. The shift mirrors what happened when smartphones replaced cameras, GPS units, and music players. Tesla's not just making batteries last longer. They're redefining what a car can be. An income generator, a backup power system, a mobile energy hub. And this is just the beginning. By 2028, when Tesla hits 40 gigawatt hours of aluminum ion production, we'll see this technology in power walls, mega packs, and potentially even grid scale storage systems. The Model 2 is the proof of concept. What comes next is the infrastructure revolution. Here's what I want to know. If your car could pay you $900 a month, would you still need a second job? Drop your thoughts below. I read every comment. This is Tech Revolution, where we break down the technology shifts that actually matter. If you want this kind of analysis before the mainstream catches on, hit subscribe. The EV market is about to split into two eras, before aluminum ion and after. You're watching the dividing line being drawn in real time.